In 2007, the primary focus of EPA regulations was on the reduction of particulate matter, resulting in the addition of a diesel particulate filter and an oxidation catalyst. Now, the EPA regulations are targeting a reduction in nitrogen oxides, NOx, in combustion emissions. By 2010, these levels must be reduced by 83%. With our reliable Bluetech technology, Detroit Diesel meets these emission standards head-on while simultaneously improving fuel economy. Detroit Diesel's heavy-duty engines will be able to incorporate SCR emission technology with only minor changes to the existing engine hardware. Detroit Diesel engines utilize Bluetech technology, a selective catalytic reduction, or SCR, system to meet 2010 EPA emission standards for commercial vehicles. As part of the Daimler Trucks family, Detroit Diesel is using Bluetech technology, which is used today in hundreds of thousands of Daimler trucks worldwide. Detroit Diesel's adoption of Bluetech for 2010 enables us to improve engine performance and fuel economy while maintaining durability and reliability. Bluetech begins to work as the exhaust leaves the engine with the pollutants, NOx, and particulate matter. The exhaust travels downstream into the after treatment device where the particulate matter is trapped in the diesel particulate filter. The NOx continues to flow downstream where it is met by diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. The DEF solution then hydrolyzes into ammonia gas, or NH3, which continues to mix with the exhaust. Once in the SCR catalyst, the NH3 and NOx react to form nitrogen and water, both of which are naturally present in the air we breathe. Uh, well, my name is Steve Williams. I'm a chairman and CEO of Maverick. USA, Inc., in Little Rock, Arkansas. SCR, um, uh, even though it's maybe new to many of us in the States, is certainly not a uh, new technology. I'd say it's proven technology, certainly from the European experience. I believe that the adoption of the uh, diesel exhaust fluid in the U.S. is going to be uh, a non-event. I wouldn't characterize this technology as complex. Pretty straightforward on how it works, pretty straightforward on what the operational characteristics are, what some of the uh, concerns have been, have been easily addressed from my perspective. SCR seems to me to be um, the ideal solution uh, to meet the 2010 engine mandate. Um, and I say that in regards to the fact that it allows us to allow the engine to operate in its most optimum environment that it can for fuel efficiency and then be able to treat the exhaust uh, so that we in fact re reduce or eliminate uh, the pollutants. The Bluetech SCR system does require some additional equipment on your truck. The primary components of the Bluetech system include the DEF tank, which is mounted on the driver's side of the vehicle. The SCR catalyst, which is housed in a single box configuration, along with the diesel oxidation catalyst and the diesel particulate filter. This will be the configuration used in most on-highway applications. And the DEF dosing unit, which is mounted at the top of the single box after treatment system. DEF flows from the tank to the dosing unit, which electronically controls the amount of DEF that enters the exhaust stream. The DEF tank will be located next to your fuel tank on the driver's side of the vehicle. Depending on your driving and fueling cycle, the tanks will range in size from 6 to 23 gallons. Since DEF consumption is equal to approximately 2% of diesel fuel used, you will only need to fill your DEF tank every two to three fuel refills. As you can see, you'll be able to travel across the country on less than one full 13-gallon tank of DEF. DEF can be purchased at your local fueling station in small disposable containers or at pumps available for traditional bulk filling. Some fleets will choose to keep bulk quantities of DEF at their own location. 
However you choose to purchase your diesel exhaust fluid, there are a few things to remember when filling the tank. First, never put diesel fuel in your DEF tank. To keep this from happening, manufacturers have employed some safeguards. The fill nozzle of the DEF tank is sized so that a diesel fuel dispensing nozzle will not fit. As an additional safeguard, the DEF tank fill nozzle contains a special magnetic ring. This ring connects with a mating ring in DEF dispensing equipment found at truck stops. DEF will flow from the dispenser into the DEF tank only when both magnetic rings are present. This magnetic interface system also prevents someone from accidentally putting DEF into their diesel fuel tank. The second thing to remember is that DEF freezes at 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 degrees Celsius. This will not affect your ability to fill your DEF tank because filling stations will have heated pumps. And finally, although DEF is non-toxic, you should clean up spills with water or a mild solvent to avoid staining aluminum components. You might be wondering how you will know when you're running low on DEF. In addition to the Bluetech hardware, there is a new DEF gauge. Just like filling up a diesel tank, drivers will need to remember to watch the DEF gauge and fill the tank when needed. The DEF gauge consists of four LED bars. The fourth bar is a tricolor display that works with the other lights in the dash panel to alert the driver to low DEF conditions. When the DEF tank falls to 10% full, the fourth bar will change from green to solid yellow. The DEF lamp will also display a solid yellow light. When the DEF tank level falls to 5%, the fourth bar will change from solid yellow to flashing red, the DEF lamp will flash yellow, and a check engine lamp will be illuminated in the dash. At this point, the first government mandated inducement will occur. The engine power will be derated by 25% and the vehicle's road speed will be limited to 55 miles per hour. When the DEF tank level goes to zero, the malfunction indicator lamp will illuminate and the truck's engine power and road speed will remain limited. Once the DEF tank is empty, there are government mandated limits on how long the vehicle may operate. If the driver continues to ignore these warnings, the next time the vehicle stops and restarts with no DEF in the tank, road speed will be limited to 5 miles per hour and the stop engine light will appear in addition to the other warning signals. What you need to remember is that DEF is just as important to running your vehicle as diesel fuel. So monitor your gauges and keep on trucking. Now let's answer a few frequently asked questions. What will happen if DEF freezes in my DEF tank? Because DEF begins to freeze at 12 degrees Fahrenheit, provisions have been made for the system to thaw frozen DEF and then make sure that the DEF continues to flow in even the most extreme conditions. A completely frozen tank of DEF thaws from the bottom up, allowing DEF to begin flowing. This thawing is accomplished by routing engine coolant through the DEF tank. In fact, all tests have shown frozen DEF to thaw out and begin flowing well under the time permitted by EPA guidelines. DEF flows through heated lines to maintain flow in very cold temperatures. What if DEF gets on my skin? DEF is non-toxic. If DEF does get on your skin, wash your skin with a mild soap. What is this white crystal substance on my tank? This is most likely due to a small spill of DEF that has had the water portion of DEF evaporated off. Remember, DEF is non-toxic. Where can I find a location to fill my DEF tank? DEF locations are located throughout North America. Please visit www.detroitdiesel.com for more detailed locations. The Bluetech SCR Advantage is clear. SCR is a proven technology used worldwide and has been selected by almost all NAFTA engine manufacturers. Experience has shown that the SCR system is easy to understand, service, and maintain. SCR technology allows Detroit Diesel to maintain our current engine design with no major component changes. SCR technology has been demonstrated to result in a fuel economy savings of up to 5%.
and DEF is a non-toxic fluid which will be readily available at thousands of locations across North America. We hope this answers most of your questions about driving a Detroit Diesel Bluetech engine. For more information, please visit www.detroitdiesel.com or your local authorized Detroit Diesel location.